here we are up in uh, Central Cal. I've been from Hearst Castle, right on the beach here. And uh, it's quite beautiful. The rocks are kind of interesting. The path going down in the driftwood. Seagulls.
as we did. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> we, I built boulders for our landscape. Yes. You still gonna come with your mates? Beautiful. Just transport. That's great. Um, and again, I illustrated to her. She did it. Great. Fantastic. Hey, so folks. Remember, Casa Del Mar, House of the Sea, for the view of the Pacific Ocean. But the big house is named after its size. Casa Grande is 68,500 square feet. It has 115 rooms, 38 bedrooms, 42 bathrooms. It is 137 feet tall and neither bell tower. That does not include the nine foot weather vanes. They're inspired by a bell tower in Ronda, Spain, where there's a single tower. Mr. Hurst wanted to be symmetrical, and if one is good, it's better. Del Rio, considered one of the most beautiful actresses of Hollywood during Mr. Hurst. Even though Mr. Hurst was in his 60s, 70s, and 80s when he was hosting many of his guests, he really prided himself on being able to outlast his older companions of the tennis court. He likes to play his tennis doubles with Alice Parker as his partner against Bill Hilton. Bill Bear, 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 Bill Mr. 
want to sit around very long. There he is, in front of one of his cottages and fountains, possibly contemplating his business empire. And the next clip we're going to see is of Mr. Hurst and his architect, Julia Morgan. So she was pro, um, so she really did not like to be on camera. She's gonna try to block her face. Julia Morgan on the right there, folks, Mr. Hurst on the left. Like I said, she did not want to be in front of the camera. <laughs> on your way down the hills today, folks, you'll pass by the bear pits. Like I said, Mr. Hurst had the largest private zoo in the United States. And these might have been the lions roaring outside Mr. Bellamy's window. That was the over-engineered gate to the hilltop. <laughs> so today, folks, uh, if you're going up the hill, if you pass by an oodad or a bighorn, a bighorn sheep or a zebra, they do have the right-of-way to this day. The rest of the clips we're going to see are of the different animals Mr. Hurst had at a zoo. He would feed them next to the road. That way they would uh, be there to greet you as you were driving up the hill. Right.